Hi, I'm Nacieli and today's tutorial is this uh, schnauzer dog in a keychain made uh, with the migurumi. So this is a no sewing needed pattern. So if we do it uh, start to finish with crochet only, we don't have to sew in any parts. Uh, we just have to thread this ones. But I'm going to teach you how to do it. Uh, so if you uh, don't know my channel yet, I do a lot of keychain patterns. If you like doing keychains like this bull pair here, uh, this beagle, um, this German shepherd. And I'm also doing cats now. Um, I released this cat yet, but I'm going to release some other uh, cat patterns too. So let's get started. So uh, for the video, I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook and a thicker yarn that I did in this one. This is going to be a toy. Uh, it's not going to be a keychain. But if you want to do a keychain, use a 3.5 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn and it's going to be this size. So I'm going to start by doing a magic ring and then I'm going to do 10 single crochets on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 single crochets. Now I pull the magic ring. And now four rounds, two, two, four, which means three rounds. We're just going to repeat that, 10 single crochets. So we're going to do 10 single cro crochets here from rounds two to four. Uh, that will be three rounds. So I'm going to do mine, then I come back. So I finish here my three rounds, rounds two, three, and four. Uh, each one of them with 10 single crochets. Now we're going to start round number five and we're going to start by doing six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. Now we're going to increase four times. So one, two single crochets together one time. One, two single crochets together, two times, one, two single crochets together, three times, and one, and two single crochets together, four times. So we finished this round, that was round number five with 14 stitches. For round number six, we're just gonna do 14 single crochets. Uh, so we're not going to make any increases or decreases, just one round with 14 single crochets. So one, two, three, 12, 13, and 14 single crochets. So we finish uh, round number six with 14 stitches. For round number seven, we're going to start by doing two single crochets and one increase four times. So one, two single crochets by themselves and two single crochets together. Two single crochets and one increase one time. One, two single crochets and one increase two times. One, two single crochets and one increase three times. One. Two single crochets and one increase four times and now two single crochets one and two so we finish uh, round number seven with 18 stitches and now we're gonna start round number eight we're gonna start by doing ten single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 single crochets. 
now we're gonna do our first ear so for the ears we're gonna we have here two loops we're gonna be using just the front loop so for the ear we're gonna do one uh, double crochet just taking the front loop so one double crochet now we're gonna chain three one two three and we're gonna do one single crochet in the first chain we made so one single crochet now we're gonna chain two one two and we're gonna uh, do one single crochet here taking the front loop so in the same place one single crochet so here we have our ear since this yarn is a little bit bigger the gap stays bigger but what we're going to do later on is that we're going to glue the tip here so it's folded like in that so we finished the ear the first ear now we do four single crochets now normally taking both loops so one two three and four and now we're gonna do the second year so taking the front loop only uh, again so first we're gonna do one single crochet taking the front loop only now we're gonna chain five one two three four five uh, and we're gonna do one single crochet on the third chain we did so one two three now we're gonna do here one single crochet and uh, we do one double crochet taking the front loop again so we finish now the second year uh, and we're gonna do two single crochets to finish this row so one and two so there we have the ears this one has a gap too but we're gonna glue it like that we finish this round round number eight with 16 stitches now we're gonna place our eyes and our nose for this tiny one I use a seven millimeter nose and a five millimeter eye since this one is bigger I'm using here a 10 millimeter uh, nose between the first and the second round we're gonna place our nose and for this big one I'm using seven millimeter eyes so we're gonna come here and I'm gonna count between rounds five and six we're gonna put the place the eyes so one two three one two three four five and six so between rounds five and six we're gonna place the eyes and below them we need to have two increases so here is one increase and here's the second one so you place it like uh, in the direction of the ears and what we're gonna do for the ears is we're gonna just put a little bit of glue here and then fold the tip and glue it up like this because that's how uh, schnauzer ear looks like and now I'm gonna do the same here with the second one just a little bit of glue just so stays folded like that and I'm gonna put all place all the safety locks so I place the safety lock here and now we're gonna do this fur so I use uh, I like this yarn for doing this it's like a tangly one I'm from Brazil so it's hard to recommend a yarn because I don't know if you have it uh, where you are but it is like that it's a tango one it's used to do hair uh, but you can use an acrylic yarn you gotta use a yarn that when you undo it like this it gets fluffy you know so now we're gonna take a tapestry needle and we're gonna do the details of his face 
So I'm going to come here, right on top of the eye, and I'm going to pull it up, one tip. And I leave a little bit long. Now I'm going to cut another piece here. And I'm going to use this for the other side too. So I take a tapestry needle here, come on top of the eye, and just pull through. So for fixating it, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. We're going to come here from inside and take a little bit of glue and just glue it. Like here at the beginning of our thread. Both, both sides. So it doesn't move. So since it's from the inside, there's no trouble. And now just wait a little bit to dry. So now that it's dry, we're going to groom a little bit more. So this one comes with the yarn, like a piece of, of thread that is different. So I cut it out. I cut this piece out. Uh, this is a cotton one. So it doesn't open and it gets like really, it really stands out. So I just pull it up. and cut it out. And now for this, what we do is we just come here with the brush and then we cut it. And cone a little bit more. You see? Oh, sorry. So that's it. Now we're going to do the same in the other side. So as we did with the eyes, we're going to do here at the front. It's a little bit different. We're going to take like a, a thinner crochet needle and just do some sides, like some sizes like this. And now what we do is you take fold fold this fold this now you take here um like through a loop or something you just pull through and then take the both of them and pull then we're gonna do this all over and we're going to fill this up with a lot of yarn, like all around the nose. And just secure it. But we're going to fill it up. I'm going to do one more here so you learn. So you take one thread like that. Pull through. Then you take the both yarn and pull through it again. And then you tied up then you have the the mustache so i'm gonna do a little bit more and then i come back to show you so i place here a whole bunch of thread and also i i, I did one more here on the eyes because for this small one one is enough but for the big one i think it, it needs a little bit more so now i'm just gonna do the same thing i did just brush it off and now we're going to do here.
now that we brushed everything uh, we don't want it just to look like that <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are just uh, gonna glue it up a little bit so it stays put so we're gonna take a little bit of glue and place here down here you don't need to do a ton just a tiny bit just so the beard <laughs> quote-unquote <laughs> stays put so now I did the glue here now I'm gonna just fold just fold it up and press and still a lot of it so now we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna groom so we're just gonna cut the excess out <laughs> it feels like grooming a real dog it's really funny So now that our dog it's all groomed, we can come back here and finish its body. So we stopped here on round number eight with 16 stitches. So we're gonna start now uh, round number nine. We're gonna start by doing two single crochets and one decrease two times. So one single crochet, Two, two single crochet and one decrease. One time, one. Two single crochets and one decrease. Two times. Now we're gonna do two single crochet, one, two. And remember that we use the front loop to make the ear. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the back loop so we're gonna do one single crochet here using the back loop only uh, left from the ear now we're gonna do uh, we're gonna decrease twice one and two decreases and we're gonna do the one single crochet back loop only again and we're gonna finish by doing two single crochet so one and two and we finish uh, this round that was round number nine with 14 stitches now we're gonna start round number 10 by decreasing one so one decrease let's pull our marker here and now we're gonna increase three times so one two single crochets one increase one two single crochets together two increases one and two single crochets together three increases now we're gonna decrease four times so one two three four decreases and now we do one single crochet so we finished this round that was round number 10 with 12 stitches for round number 11 we're gonna start by doing one single crochet and now we're gonna increase five times we're gonna start doing the neck so five increases now Five increases now we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease twice so one single crochet and one decrease one time 
one single crochet and one decrease two times so we finished this round that was round number 11 with 15 stitches now we're gonna start round number 12 by doing one single crochet and one increase five times so one single crochet one increase one time one single crochet one increase two times one single crochet one increase three times one single crochet one increase four times one single crochet and one increase five times now we're gonna do one single crochet and two decreases one decrease two decreases and we finished this round that was round number 12 uh, with 18 stitches for round 13 we're gonna start by doing seven single crochets one two three four five six seven single crochets now we're gonna increase once so one two single crochets together in the same stitch now two single crochets one and two one more increase so one and two single crochets together in the same stitch three single crochets one two three and two decreases so one decrease two decreases and we finish round number 13 uh, still with 18 stitches for round number 14 we're gonna start by doing seven single crochets so one two three four five six and seven now we're gonna do one popcorn stitch so if you don't uh one uh popcorn stitch made with five treble crochets so i'm gonna start so we're gonna do five treble crochet here and then turn it into a popcorn stitch so we're gonna start by doing one treble crochet here so one two three four and five treble crochets now to turn uh, this into a popcorn stitch we pull this loop a little bit now we come in the first uh, loop here of the treble crochets take the one there and then pull through so now we have a popcorn stitch with five treble crochets um, and now we're gonna do two single crochets one and two and now we're gonna do uh, the same we did here we're gonna start by doing five treble crochets oh I got it wrong so five treble crochets in the same stitch one one two three four 
and five travel crochets. I'll pull it up and turn into a popcorn stitch. Pull through. Now we're gonna do seven single crochets. Gotta be really careful here, not just skip stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, oops, six and seven single crochets. So we finish round number 14 with 18 stitches. For round 15, we're just gonna make 18 stitches. No increases or decreases, just 18 single crochets. So I made one here, I'm gonna put on my marker. One, two, three, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we finish round number 15 with 18 stitches. For round number 16, we start by doing six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it decreased three times, so one decrease, two, three decreases. And now we do six more single crochets, so one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochets. Now we finish round 16 with 15 stitches. So for round 17 and 18, we're just gonna repeat that. We're gonna do 15 stitches two times. I'm gonna make mine here and then I come back. So I finish here uh, my two rounds with 15 single crochets each, uh, round 17 and 18. Now we're gonna do round 19. We're gonna start by doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Five single crochets. Now we're gonna decrease three times. One, two, three decreases. And now four single crochets. One, two, three, four single crochets. So we finish round number 19 with 12 stitches. For round number 20, we'll start by doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five single crochet. Now I'm gonna do one popcorn stitch with five uh, treble crochets. One, Two, three, four, and five treble crochets. Now we're gonna make it as a popcorn stitch. Pulling through. I'm gonna do one single crochet. And another popcorn stitch with five treble crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five treble crochet. Now I make it as a popcorn, pull through. Now I do four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. So we finished this round, that was round number 20, with 12 stitches still. For round 21, we're going to start by doing one single crochet, then we're going to chain three, so one, two, three, and now we're going to do two slip stitches in the tail, in the, in the chains, that's going to be the tail. Now we go back here and do 11 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we're gonna stuff the body. So we finish round 21 with 12 stitches and for round 22 we're going to start by doing two single crochets, so one and we skip the tail and then do uh, a second a single crochet and now we're going to decrease, so one decrease four, decreases now we cut our yarn here pull through and now we're gonna just take the front loops only two at a time and pull through to close it up This last one is by itself. Now I pull inside of it. So it stays flat. Now I'm going to tie a little knot here. And just lose the yarn inside the body. If you're doing as a keychain, you can come up here at the top and then use this thread to sew in the keychain thing. But since mine is a toy, I'm just gonna cut off. And just now I'm gonna groom a little bit more. And there you have it, our schnauzer. So this one is way bigger because I did with the thicker yarn and five millimeter hook. But doing with the 3.5 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn, you got a tiny one like that. Look at this cuties. <laughs> so if you like this pattern, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see all my patterns that I'm posting later on and share, share this pattern with your crocheting friends. See you on the next video. Bye bye.